Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. I'm just getting ready to nip into town. I'm just gonna finish off my makeup and catch up with you. Let you know what I'm up to. So this weekend is Raka's, my husband's birthday. He is turning 30. And um, yeah, we'll do a family celebration. He's gonna make his amazing pizzas. And then... Uh, on the actual night of his birthday, I'm taking him to a hotel where we'll just chill and have a super cozy time, weekend getaway, just the two of us. So, um, I got his presents, I'm doing a few, and one of the presents that I want to get him, he's working from home so I'm not gonna be too loud, I need to get a book today. It's just a little addition to his present because he wants to have a shelf of only red books um, in our bookshelf. So like the very top um, shelf is just red, um, red cover books. So I'm gonna go to this really nice bookshop. Yeah, so the weekend should be super, super lovely. And... Um, my family, my brother are coming as well. Um, on another note, did I mention that we finished The Bear? I feel like I did, but I can't remember the TV show with Jeremy Allen White and it was so good. We absolutely loved it and now we started watching One Day on Netflix because everyone kept talking about it and how good it is so we have the last two episodes to watch tonight and most people said they were crying a lot so I think something horrible is gonna happen I'm bracing myself for it but yeah, it's a pretty good easy, entertaining TV show that I would recommend uh, so I'm gonna do a Kylie Jenner lip combo I love her lip product so this is her lip liner in 700 bare it's super creamy and then this lip gloss which is really beautiful it's got shimmer in it it's called damn Gina haven't worn this combo in a while and it's really pretty oh, by the way I wanted to update you on some beauty products French pharmacy beauty products that I featured in the previous vlog so the lip balm from NYX is really good to be honest, it's very similar in texture to the honey one, Rêve de Miel. It's like a completely matte lip balm. Maybe that's why I initially didn't like the honey one, because I like the products to be glossy. And as you can see, this one is completely matte. It smells so nice again. It's almost gritty. It's It feels so weird, like your lips are not slippery and it's hard to rub them together. But that means it doesn't slide off your lips, it stays for hours and hours on your lips and really nourishes them, which is amazing. So it's great for nighttime, I just put a thick layer of this on and go to sleep. Or like um, underneath a more drying lipstick. This is such a nice lip balm, so yeah, I'm changing my mind about it. This is so buttery. And look at this gloss, it's so pretty. I love it, I love this lip combo. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'll update you on the product. So Umberly's moisturizer, really like it, great, pretty rich. So I would only use it at nighttime or in winter if my skin is super dry. Velita Skin Food, I don't know how I feel about it because it's so thick. It's almost like an ointment and it feels really weird putting it on my skin. I feel like I'm about to break out. Um, I don't know, I just have this feeling like putting something so thick and heavy on my skin. I feel like, I don't know, I haven't broken out, so it's okay. It's actually pretty hard to uh, rub it into your skin you look like a grease ball when you apply this this would be great if you're going on holiday somewhere really cold and windy like Iceland or Norway somewhere up north um, or maybe skiing 
I don't know, like if you are in like minus temperatures, minus 15, 20, this would be amazing. It's a good product for sure, but I don't feel like I personally need something this heavy. I just wanted to see what the fuss was about. A Van Tolerant Hydra 10 moisturizer is a completely different story. It's way lighter, it's a lovely moisturizer. And I also wanted to show you some new product I was sent um, by the Swedish brand, so I just wanted to show you this is the packaging. I had a bunch of their products, uh, they were kindly sent to us when we still lived in Kleipala. I, I tried a lot of their range, body lotions, shower gels, fabric detergents, hand creams, lots of different products and I really like them. Yeah, as I said, they're organic and they have really good ingredients. They smell lovely. So uh, they sent me some new products, new releases. So this is Violet Hand Cream. It smells so good. It's addictive, intoxicating, both honeyed and powdery. It does smell like the most beautiful fragrance. I wanna keep washing my hands because this smells amazing. Then they sent me um, their mint Le Bon. I love their packaging, it's gorgeous, it's so minimal and chic. Um, so this has peppermint oil, castor oil in it, what else, jojoba oil I think, sunflower oil. And I feel like Rokas will be stealing this from me because he needs a new lip balm. And this is, it comes out pretty thick and then when you rub it into your lips it becomes, it sort of melts and turns into an oil. Um, it's lovely, it smells like sweet mint. So, and then they also sent me, they have a new line of fragrances that has four different scents, vetiver, cedar, neroli, and violet. And I have a feeling I would absolutely love vetiver because I, yeah, I love the scent of vetiver. But they have kindly sent me a neroli one, which smells like summer, like bottled um, holiday in Italy. And neroli is made of the leaves of, um, bitter orange trees so it smells very green very very yeah like green orangey leafy and summery this would be so gorgeous on a hot summer's day but actually i'll wear it today it's really beautiful and yeah as i said i can't imagine myself wearing this in summer a lot so waiting for it to get warmer so thank you tangent um, the name of the brand is Tangent um, GC. I'm ready to go. Oh, by the way, I got a message from a girl saying she would absolutely love to see um, a video on my everyday jewelry. She said I would love for you to talk us through it and show it up close. So do let me know if you guys would be interested in a video. Maybe not a separate video, but an insert in a... Um, in a vlog of me talking about my everyday jewelry so like my rings necklace my earrings uh, i can definitely do that and show you some more of my collection i don't have an extensive jewelry collection although i'm i adore jewelry so much um so i can show you my favorite pieces i wear lots of lithuanian designers just let me know in the comments if this is something you would like to hear me talk about um Let's go! This is a vintage bookshop. My hair has gone completely curly in the rain. It's actually quite romantic. I love the nest in the rain. Okay, let's go to another bookshop. I got a beautiful vintage bell. Look at it. I just made my favorite Korean fried rice with kimchi, which I haven't done in so long and I missed it. Wonton kohata gochujang paste, 
sesame seed oil and it's looking yummy and this is our eggs that will go on top this is our dinner you can add uh, dried seaweed on top but i don't really like it that much on top of this so yeah mm -mm -mm. hey guys i have about 10 to 15 minutes before i have to head out the door um, I have a couple of meetings with jewelry designers and I just mentioned the other day that I could talk about my jewelry so today it happens that I have two meetings both of which with Lithuanian designers one that actually made um, my engagement and wedding band we're planning on doing a little campaign together I have a phone meeting with them so we'll have to discuss all of the details and then um, another meeting that I'm heading to is with Simona Samouskaite who made this beautiful ring and this bracelet. Maybe I'll show you some of her jewelry in her studio. But uh, I wanted to finish getting ready and show you a few clothing items. By the way, the book that I got, Rokas, let me show you. No, I was looking for a red book so I got this one. It's called Magpie Murders by Anthony Horovich. And it seemed like something he would definitely enjoy um, and I think I will enjoy reading this book later on so um, Yeah, yesterday I got some makeup -y bits. I wanted to show you because I'm so excited Sometimes I get really excited about makeup like some new products. So now I was looking for super sparkly lip gloss um, and uh, I wanted some color on my eyelids like a shimmery um, eyeshadow that would have a wash of baby blue or light green something like um, a soft shimmery color so I found it so the lip gloss that I got is from Kylie Cosmetics I love this one an artificial light or like sunlight this is so so sparkly so this is in always shining um, so I'm gonna put it on my lips right now Yeah, it's just um, a clear gloss with lots of shimmer. And these come in quite a few different colors. There's a golden one, a pink one, non-shimmery ones. This is so pretty. I love it. And I got my first ever Anastasia product. I saw this Cosmos eyeshadow palette and I was like, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Look at that bam this is so pretty and again i'm gonna show you guys the palette in artificial light this color oh my god galaxy it actually looks like a galaxy i'm gonna show you the wasar it's called and it's got this green sheen to it it's the most beautiful thing oh my god i'm obsessed i put this shade on in the shop and i was like sold completely sold this is exactly what i was looking for and it actually reminds me of my mom because she actually still does wear um pastel green or pastel baby blue colors she has never been into like browns or neutral colors well she would wear a taupe eyeshadow but usually this is like her thing but it's like her eyeshadows aren't shimmering they're like either matte or slightly pearly iridescent but yet yeah, definitely these pastely blues and greens i think my mom will be obsessed when she sees these but they will be too sparkly for her but like look at that this is so pretty with this lip gloss oh my god like my excitement for makeup comes back when i see things like that i'm so so excited to use the other shimmery shades and try out the neutrals this is all i'm gonna do today with the eyeshadow i'm gonna put on my armani eyes to kill mascara actually my love for shimmery eyeshadow started with that hourglass scatter light eyeshadow and aura it's the most stunning thing and i feel like like supernova would be very similar to that. Let me swatch it. No, it's not supernova. It's more of a I don't know. It's it's 
more of a, like a shimmer sheen whereas the aura is like glitter real glitter anyway okay and before i go i wanted to show you some clothing items that i got um first of all this vintage belt the most beautiful thing i wore it yesterday and i was so happy with it it's just yeah it's brandless it's just a leather belt so beautiful i adore it i'm gonna wear it all the time now um and then i said that i don't shop um from fast fashion brands too much anymore like these my smoothie brown corduroy trousers are my absolute favorite thing but i feel like massimo is a brand that i really like buying from and i said that i don't like zara that much anymore the quality is horrible and i just don't feel like shopping at zara anymore but they are having a sale and i wanted to just pop in and see if there's anything i might like and i got three items but um i got very basic things that i would wear a lot so this is 100 percent wool v-neck jumper it's very very um thin it's gonna be great for uh, when it starts getting warmer as well but yeah i didn't have a black wool jumper so i needed something like this i love the neckline i think it's beautiful it's just the classic basic and then I buy my white t-shirt from COS because I love the quality and the crew neckline is really beautiful on them and I love wearing uh, white t-shirts under sweaters but I saw this one Zara and I thought this looks very similar to the COS one I had and I put the COS one in the wash with colorful items and it turned bubblegum pink so I, <laughs> I need to get a new one so I thought I'll get the Zara one and see how I like it. Just a simple white t-shirt. And then lastly from Zara I got this top which I'm gonna wear on Raka's birthday this weekend. I love it and this is something that I will keep for a very long time and I can see myself wearing it loads. This is very me uh, and I absolutely adore these undone sort of rough edges. Well this can be cut off it's a little too long but i love 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 this tile and look at the sleeves it's got this um, black stitching here and it's almost like drop shoulder top it looks absolutely gorgeous with these trousers and this belt and this top just tucked in so this is how i am going to wear it on his birthday i think and this is such a great everyday outfit this is very me uh, with black ballerinas this is so gorgeous so this was in the sale no that's not it i actually got something else from ivo nicola this is the brand they have lots of super class it's a very classic brand i feel like it's a sort of like massimo but massimo is becoming a little more trendy and younger whereas ivo nicola i feel like it's like super classic timeless pieces so i wanna as i said i wanna explore the brand a little more they have lots of wool like natural uh fabrics so i got these gloves um leather gloves with 100 percent wool lining they're black gloves and i just love this detail here so i have gloves from cos but they're like burgundy here and then bright blue on the other side so i wanted something super chic and classic and simple either brown or black and i got these and they're so beautiful and you have to wear gloves every day in this weather it's still really cold outside so these are gorgeous um yeah okay i have to go actually wait i'm gonna show you the flowers i made today so this is a floral order i still have these incredible orchids they're going super strong and um yeah it's from nanculus season i adore ranunculus and tulips of course my love so yeah okay gotta go it's gold and diamonds
Čo bolo na tom kaosu? Ir tada žiūrėt ir antrų pasmenų. So beautiful. This will be a gift to myself. Uh, so I just finished meeting with Simona Samoyevskaya. Her jewelry is so beautiful, and I love her as a person as well. She's the sweetest. Um, we'll be working loads together so now I have to go to grocery store to get the ingredients for tiramisu which I'm gonna make tonight for Raka's birthday this weekend um, I got lady fingers already so I just need mascarpone and cacao so let's go it's raining outside so I'm driving today it's just like yeah the cake from Heide Krug. It's one of my favorites years and years ago. My aunt um, showed it to me. She got it for her own birthday and we all, like the whole family, fell in love with this cake. It was pistachio and raspberries and crunch at the bottom. It's one of the most delicious things. It's called Lengvumas and yeah, it's just so good. But he'll also get tiramisu. Let's put some lip gloss. Oh. I'm not sponsored by Kylie Cosmetics, by the way. Lucas and I just came back from a grocery store. Um, we had to get some last bits um, for his birthday because my parents are coming tomorrow so I'll be making lunch for them my brother as well and um, yeah I'll show you the process of making tiramisu tonight and the way that it turns out now I'm just gonna make a quick dinner for us uh, which could okay just super easy and quick and I showed it before already so let's do that and that's our dinner let's do another weekly grocery haul I don't know if these are interesting to you guys, let me know, but I thought it would be fun to share our weekly groceries once in a while. So let me show you what we got. We got a bunch of bananas, some grapes, two lemons, lots of curd. Um, Rokas eats lots of curd because it's protein and sometimes we make virtinoki, which is lovely. Then some champignons. We got cabbage because we had this really good roasted cabbage with um, different dips in babble for brunch. So we thought we would try and recreate it. Maybe have roasted cabbage with chimichurri. So we'll try. Um, then we got some turkey breast, um, copper, organic English breakfast tea. I really love this one. Then lots of different kinds of meat. Uh, Rokka's got these for um, making pizza and um, yeah, he gets this flour mix for pizza. And then some oats, some grated cheese mix, mm, some gouda cheese, then lots of mozzarella, cheddar, again everything for the pizzas. Then I got some ricotta for making ricotta pancakes. And look at this, Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate. They are now available to purchase in our supermarkets, which is so nice. I love categories and they have lots of different ones. Then we got some butter, um, artichokes, some protein yogurt with strawberries, with dips um, with um, some green spring onion, I think. Cream cheese, not dips, sorry. We got two of those, two of our favorite bread. We usually put one in the freezer. Um, so that it's fresh when you finish one <laughs> bag, then you get the other one out and it's like fresh bread. 
so it doesn't go to waste. Then we got some chicken breast, kefir, paprika, zucchini, salad mix, uh, eggs, then these are for the pizzas, organic red wine vinegar, this is for chimichurri and lots of different things. Then we love these olives, I think I mentioned this. Alfaro, mm, pitted green olives in um, orange sauce. These are so good. Spinach, some rapeseed oil, blueberries, gherkins, uh, dill and chives. This is our weekly food haul. Now we're gonna tuck everything away. You need four eggs and uh, I'll be separating the egg yolks from whites. And the trick I learned, the best way to do it is just in your hands. I know it might not be for everyone, but it's the best way to separate them. Just like that, you just have to be very, very gentle not to break the yolk. And make sure you wash your eggs really well because um, tiramisu is done with uncooked eggs. So make sure they're fresh, organic, and well washed. Okay, here we go, the egg white. I was kind of struggling with the egg white. It's not as fluffy as it should be. But look, the egg yolks with mascarpone turned out perfect. Uh, so now I'm gonna deplete the fingers and layer everything sort of like lasagna. So now I have to mix the egg whites with the yolks and be very gentle. That's it, this is our tiramisu. I'm just gonna put it in the fridge for tomorrow. We're gonna sign off. I'm just gonna insert some bits from preparations tomorrow. Oh, Raka's making pizzas, um, the cake, the table layout and everything. So we'll be celebrating. I will not be probably, you know, vlogging and talking, um, but I'll film here and there. So. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!